What's going on YouTube? Miguel here and today I'm bringing you guys episode 9 of Project Pony. I want to get this thing back on the road pretty soon but to do that there's a couple things here and there I gotta fix. This car is 24 years old. The AC hasn't worked on it since I got it. That window right there, the driver's side window, that doesn't roll down. I live in Texas. It's almost October and it's still like 90 degrees outside. This is not okay. I'm not trying to have a heat stroke while driving this thing. We gotta fix that. Let's get into it. All right, let's start the Mustang up. I want to show you guys something real quick. We come over here. That window does not roll down on that side. That one's working perfectly fine, so we don't really gotta worry about this one. But this thing is getting fixed today. Okay, so apparently this is super easy. Famous last words. Starting off, you get a screwdriver, stick it in right here, and this panel should just pop right out. After you pop that out, this thing is supposed to be attached to this little plastic bit right here it looks like the glue on mine wore out yeah that's another thing i gotta fix now if yours is still attached screw right there screw right there just take those out all right and then that right there that's you know your power window switch thing that just unplugs literally just gotta click right here just pop that out and you're good after you unplug that you're supposed to have two screws right here again i don't have those either for some reason you take those out and then over here on the inside of the door there's this little push pin clip like right here towards the bottom that pops out and then you can take out the entire door panel itself so now that the door panel is off this is what we're working with right here um, a little trick to get this off push up from the bottom and then lift it out it's got these little like clips up and then out and then the storage and then that should come out. Moving on to the actual door itself in here. You're gonna have a whole bunch of plastic. I just, I went ahead and you know cut that off just to make this a little bit easier. The motor itself is gonna be this right here. It's gonna have three bolts, one, two, three. They're all eight millimeters. Yeah, basically just take those off and then you can slide the motor out. They say, it's easier to get it out from here. I went ahead and took out the little speaker in the door as well. Just in case, you know, if I can't get it out from here, I can try to get it out from there. These are pretty simple, just a little eight millimeter bolt. Screws themselves are a little hard to get out. I recommend using a magnet, sticking that in there, and then it should come out pretty straightforward. After you get those three bolts out, I forgot to mention this clip right here. This thing is also connected to the motor itself there's a clip in the back like right here so if you just you know pull up on this and then slide the clip down just wiggle it out and that should come right up here's a new motor out it's in there sitting like this what you want to do is you know pull it forward so you can pry the teeth off you're going to like rotate it about this way and then pull it out i'm not gonna lie you are going to struggle with this because it is a bit of a pain to try to get this thing out basically what i did that helped me i grabbed my flathead screwdriver stuck it in here and then I used this to push out the old motor. Probably can get it out from this hole, but it was so much easier getting out from the speaker hole just because, you know, it's, it's literally right here. So apparently one thing you can do instead of replacing the entire motor itself, if you think yours still might be good, after you take it out, plug it in right back here, start your car, and then hit your switches. If the teeth are moving, it's still good. If it's not, then you do need to replace the whole thing. And just like a starter, if you bang it here on the motor piece itself a couple of times, it'll somehow magically start working again. I tried that with mine didn't really work so we're just gonna go ahead and replace the whole thing itself here's the brand new motor again we're just gonna feed it through here and then reattach it the one i bought it comes with all these extra cables i figured out that this is the one you know you plug in and then it connects to that piece right there now that that's out the way i'm just gonna connect this piece to that and then try to put this thing back in there. I wanna make sure this thing actually works. I got it connected up to, you know, the, the wire it's supposed to be. Let's just set that right down there. Let me hit the switch. That clearly works. Guys, I'm so smart. I figured out what those extra cables were. The original wire that's supposed to go in here, here, way too short. So they gave you an extra additional two pieces to extend it. With that, you just hook them up to the other wire, feed them through the door, feed them through here, connect it right here. 
and you're good. Guys, I have air conditioning again, look. Everything's put back together, everything's bolted up, and look. I have air conditioning. All right, I put the door back together real easy. Just remember, reinstall is just the opposite of removal. I'm just gonna start this all the way. Go over here. That's the wrong one. All right, we go over here. That one rolls down, and then we go over here. And it looks like today was a success. All right, so for the second week in a row, we got another easy job, another easy fix. Yeah, the car has working AC now, so I think we should be good to go. I might start driving this a whole lot more. That being said, drop a like, comment down below what was your favorite part, and uh, subscribe, because still got a long way to go on this project build. I'm out.